And what was the first scene that you did that you were like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I was looking for. Shit. I don't know what it, I don't know. I don't know. I think probably the one where I was like, I really want to do this was um, probably my Mike Adriano one because I was traveling back and forth for six months because I didn't want to move out here if I was just going to be like a thing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be somebody. Mm -hmm. um, The nicest way to put it. Yeah. It's also so expensive to live out here. Right. And I didn't want to, if I was, if I was going to be a porny, I wasn't going to be able to afford it. And I didn't want to like uproot my life if I, if it wasn't going to be worth it in my mind Mm -hmm. as an adult. Yeah. And um, so I was like A to B. They said anal. I was like, cool. So I contacted Mike and got a training kit. It took me three months to prepare with two cancellations. I'm like, I'm not ready. Because I have I lost my anal virginity on camera. With Mike? With Mike. Oh, wow. And it wasn't even like cut, let's warm up, let's stick a dick in your ass for the first time, see how you are. I said, no, I wanted my authentic reaction on film. <laughs> And how'd that go? He contracted me for eight scenes. So terribly. Horrible. <laughs> and you know, like that whole thing, like when someone takes your virginity, you become obsessed. I To this day, Mike, I'm obsessed with your dick. <laughs> I love it. He knows I do. I baby him anytime I work together. I'm like, let me take care of you. I will not work for his site if it's not with him. Aww, no. I'm like, that's so sweet. I lo- He's just so good in the ass. Yeah. So that was whenever I was like, okay. You know, there's something to be said about you know, there are some people who are like horrified at the idea of your first sexual experience being on camera, but if it's with a professional and it's somebody that you trust yeah. and there's something about like being on set in a place where, you know, everything's consensual, safe. everything's safe. There's other people around, yes. like you're not, you know, with some like drunk guy at a party There's yeah. something that's, that could be actually, I don't know, sometimes better. I mean, I know that's girls that I've have loved. lost their virginity on, on set. That's hot. Cause like I asked around, I'm like, who, who would help best for losing my, my anal? And they mm-hmm. said, well, Mike is the king of ass. Like mm-hmm. that's his fucking thing. He's the king of ass. Mm-hmm. And over those three months he texted me and we talked and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm comfortable. And I mean, if he's the king of it, why not just go to the professional that knows the most about ass and be like, yeah. Hey, baby me. So teach what did me. he, Yeah, what did he teach you? Like what makes him so great? Besides the lube and just how, like, he makes you feel special, Mm -hmm. which is great. Other talent do that, too. But, like, he gives you a training kit. He gives you, like, the bathroom set up with literally everything you can imagine from, like, bobby pins to dental floss to hair ties to tea tree oil and um, energy drinks and, like, anal anal um, safe snack bars. And it's just, like, you walk on in there and it's, like... Everything is taken care of and it's mm-hmm. calm. And then he's very gentle, even though he's got a really big dick, he's very gentle mm-hmm. and he just, he makes you feel pretty and he makes you feel good. And I yeah. love it. What is an anal free snack? Like anal free bar. So I let or anal safe, sorry. Anal safe. So they're my favorite are the Bobo bars or Bob bars. I think they're Bobo bars. Okay. And, um, they have like, like, like rice crispy treat shaped ones, but they're like apple or like cinnamon, but they have this really good one. And it's like a little, a little, my demonstration for everybody. It's like a little mini cupcake, Mm -hmm. but it's apple pie and you open it. It's an actual filling, Mm -hmm. but it's all just like oats and vegan stuff and just healthy. Mm -hmm. It's just good. What, what should you not be eating if you're doing an anal scene? Hot Cheetos. Mm, Yeah. Burgers. Crab. Crab, that's random. <laughs> One time I was like, baldy. did you like hit up a red lobster before I you went to the scene? I, once I hit up a crab shack, <laughs> like the, the boiling crab. I was like, you know what? I don't have anal till like, I think it was like 4 p.m. the next day. I was like, oh, it's only six. Great, perfect time, right? Hey, call times moved to 10 a.m. I'm like, oh, fuck. Don't do it. What happens? It was just very um, painful because I got spicy crab. And then oh. You- and I had I didn't have as much time to uh, digest, oh, so no. I got like extra Cajun with hot sauce with oh, like a no. side of like I was that. Oh no! Don't do it! Don't don't do it! Mm. Just stick with bananas. 